The Electoral Commission, the independent body which oversees elections in the UK, says it's been targeted in a complex cyber attack. Now, the organisation says its systems were accessed by what it's called hostile actors. Well, we can get more now uh, from our political correspondent, it's Liz Bays. Uh, Liz, people hearing this, they'll be quite concerned. This is worrying, isn't it? I think it is quite concerning and as you say we've only found out about this in the last uh, half an hour or so. The Electoral Commission, that is of course the body that oversees uh, elections uh, in this country and uh, monitors uh, campaign finance uh, and that type of thing. They have released a statement. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll read part of it out for you just to give you a sense of what they've said. The incident, uh, the Electoral Commission says, was identified back in October 20. 22 after suspicious activity was detected on our systems it became clear that hostile actors had first accessed the systems in august 2021 during the cyber attack the perpetrators had access to the commission's servers which held our email our control systems and copies of the electoral registers we understand the concern this attack may cause and apologize to those affected since the attack was discovered, we have worked with security specialists to investigate the incident and have taken action to secure our systems and reduce the risk of future attacks. It goes on, it is our assessment that the information affected by this breach does not pose a high risk to individuals. And this notification is being given due to the high volume of personal data potentially viewed or, rem or removed during the cyber attack. So. On the one hand, I think uh, here, the Electoral Commission uh, coming out and uh, re revealing, uh, I suppose, first of all, what's happened and suggesting that they have uh, now got control of it. They say they have taken steps uh, to ensure against future cyber attacks, strengthened uh, network login requirements, they say, improved monitoring and alert systems for active threats and reviewed and updated uh, firewall policies. I suppose the, uh, the, the question that people will be asking, how much data uh, in the the end uh, were these hackers able to access because of course uh, the electoral commission uh, holds the electoral registers which covers everyone uh, who is able to vote in this country and many of their personal details and the bigger question of course why did this happen uh, and uh, uh, what was the extent uh, of the the usage of this data and what the electoral commission says they are not able to know uh, conclusively what information uh, was accessed so i think very concerning for, uh, because it, um, it it affects a lot of people and and data breaches are of course incredibly serious but i think in the end probably raises a few more questions here uh, than it answers